Pull down to stretch your other arm. To counter your opponent grabbing your wrist with his opposite hand, raise your forearm up to free your wrist. To maintain control, do not fully break contact. Grab your opponent's wrist with both hands. Swing your arms to twist his arm as you step in. Extend your opponent's twisted arm over your shoulder. As you raise your wrist, your opponent's grip is broken by overextending at his fingers. As you step in, pivot on your left leg if your left hand was grabbed. The opponent's front leg can be locked with your hip. To counter this technique, grab your opponent's wrist before he swings and pivots. Beat him to the pivot. Use your hand that he grabbed to grab his wrist as soon as possible. Extend your opponent's arm over your shoulder, leaning forward so that his back is stretched over your back. This reverses the action so that you end up using the same technique that your opponent meant for you. When your opponent follows his grab with a punch, raise your forearm to grab your opponent's wrist with only one hand. Grab your opponent's punch, then pivot in so you are back to back. Extend your opponent's body over your body. Grab your opponent's punch with your palm up, fingers pointing forward. When executed in one fluent motion, your opponent is off balance and can be thrown down. To counter this technique, take control of your opponent's attempt to grab your punch by sliding your grip to his wrist. Grab his elbow with your other hand and press his arm back. As your opponent attempts to break your grip, you punch. When your punch is deflected, grab his elbow and twist. Pull his elbow in and up and push his wrist back to meet his shoulder. Squeeze his wrist and shoulder together while controlling his elbow. By continuing this motion, pushing his elbow back as you pull his wrist down, pull your opponent down. In this variation, instead of raising your forearm, bring your hand underneath your opponent's grip. Continue to spin your forearm around so it is on top of his wrist as you grab his hand with your other hand. Press straight down with your forearm. To twist his wrist, keep his fingers pointing up as you press down with your forearm. Lower your center of balance with his, sinking accordingly so that you are not overextended. If your opponent is leaning slightly back, step in and press his fingers forward over your forearm. This technique is similar to the previous, however you must be sensitive to which direction your opponent is leaning to take advantage of this weakness. Once your opponent's arm is twisted, it locks so that it cannot bend. By pushing forward on the wrist, when the arm is in this position, the entire body is moved. Stay with your opponent so as not to release the arm twist. If your opponent is leaning slightly forward, pull back with your forearm as you press his fingers back. Lock his wrist between your hand and forearm. Just as you step forward to push forward, step back to pull back. In each of these counters, press on your opponent's fingers back as if to make them touch his forearm over your wrist. You can add leverage by pressing your elbow into his. To counter this technique, follow your opponent's motion, stepping in as he pulls you forward. Even though he has your arm extended, he fails to pull you off balance. With your other hand, grab your opponent's forward leg. Lift his leg to throw him down. You may follow him down to maintain control. Step in so that your leg is behind your opponent's leg. Sink your hips beneath his for better leverage. Do not lean too far forward to lift his leg or this may provide an opening. Grab his leg behind the knee. You can add leverage by pushing with your waist. 
This technique is similar to the previous, however the throw is done with the waist alone. Use your leg to trap your opponent's leg so he cannot step back. Use your waist to push your opponent over your leg. If your opponent pushes your wrist forward, pivot with his push. Lean forward to alleviate some of the pressure he exerts on your arm. Turn and swing your free arm to chop across your opponent's neck. By spinning with his push, the momentum of your opponent's attack is channeled into your counterattack. He is deflected to the side as you spin. In this variation, you spin as your opponent attempts to take you down. Lean forward to alleviate the twist. Since your body is closer to the ground, you cannot pivot for the chop. Roll forward to unwind your arm and escape your opponent's grasp. If your opponent gets your shoulder to the ground before you begin your row, you are trapped. This spin and row is executed in one fluent motion. After completing this movement, immediately locate your opponent's position since this is only an escape. To counter your opponent grabbing your wrist with his same hand, raise your forearm up to break your opponent's grip. Grab your opponent's wrist with both hands, step in, pivoting on your forward leg. Hyperextend your opponent's elbow over your upper arm. To maintain control, do not fully break contact with your opponent. Your arms follow the circular pattern of your pivoting step, twisting your opponent's arm. Press your opponent's wrist down as you lift his elbow up with your forearm. To counter this technique, grasp your opponent's elbow before he sets it underneath your own elbow. Push his elbow up and grab his wrist with your other hand. Pull his wrist down to hyperflex his elbow. Pull his wrist down towards the center of his back while keeping control of his arm with your other hand. By continuing to pull down, you can take down your opponent. Push your opponent's elbow towards his front as you shift your extended arm towards his back. Your grabbed wrist will break his grip at his fingers. When your opponent follows his grab with a punch, grab his punch and pull it across his body. Grabbing both wrists, twist his arms to take him down. Lifting his grabbing arm up, push his punching arm down so that his arms tie each other up. While his arms are twisted, yours must be aligned comfortably. To counter this technique, when your opponent catches your punch, do not let him cross your arms. Step in, extending your punching arm across his throat while pulling his other arm across your body. Press into his throat with your punching arm to take him down. As you step in, place your front leg behind your opponent's leg to trip him. Scissor his body between your punching arm and your front leg while restraining his extended arm. In this variation, raise your hand from the outside of your opponent's wrist instead of the inside. Grab and twist his arm. Step in and grab just above your opponent's elbow. Pivot and pull him down. By controlling both ends of your opponent's forearm, you can control his entire arm and his body will follow. Press down on his elbow while pulling up his wrist. To counter this technique, step behind your opponent's front leg as he begins to press down on your arm. Grab his front leg with your free hand and lean into his body to take him down. As you fall together, land on top of your opponent with all the force of your fall pointed on your elbow. Step in as close as you can, grabbing your opponent's knee. Maintain, maintain control of his leg once on the ground, attacking with your other hand. In a variation to this counter, as your opponent grabs your elbow, remove his hand with your other hand, extend his arm, 
and press down on his elbow with your forearm, trapping his other hand under his armpit. Pull your opponent's elbow in the same direction of his press, sliding your elbow up his arm. Press down on his arm as you pull his wrist up. To counter this technique when your opponent follows with a punch, intercept his punch and cross his arms. Step behind his foot, pushing his grabbing hand up to trip him. Press his punching hand down as you lift his grabbing hand up, crossing his arms above his elbows. You can lock your opponent's knee with your own knee for the trip. To counter this technique, pull his arm straight with his grabbing hand. Wrap his other arm around his neck, locking it over his opposite shoulder, pulling him back so he loses his balance. Raise his extended arm up and back, pinning his folded arm. Pull his arm down as you push his extended arm back to take him down. Pivot your body to prevent your opponent from crossing your arms and locking them. Step behind your opponent so he cannot lock your leg. Pull your opponent's wrists as far apart as you can, keeping his folded arm close to his body. This locks his entire upper body, so when you raise his extended arm, his whole body must follow. Follow the direction of your block to extend your opponent's punching arm behind him. You must cross your opponent's arms before he crosses your arms to reverse this technique. To counter your opponent grabbing your wrist with both hands, step in with an elbow strike to the solar plexus to loosen his grip. Grab the hand that is under your arm, spin the arm he grabbed over his shoulder, push his shoulder forward taking him down. Pivot your arm where your opponent grabs you for the strike. Wrap his arm with your own while you keep his wrist restrained with your other hand. Press his shoulder to the ground while extending his shoulder with your arm or shoulder. In this variation, begin with the elbow strike, then step in again, grabbing his elbow with your free hand. Push his elbow up and grab his wrist with your other hand. Pull his wrist down as you push his elbow back to lock his arm and take him down. 